Hey guys, welcome to Smash Pad Streamcan for the weekend of uh, November 2nd, 2013. Today we are playing Ratchet and Clank Future A Crack in Time. Um, so yeah, there's not really a ton coming out that uh, I would say interests me right now. Uh, and so we're sort of winding down on this generation being sort of the... The big focus as the PS4 is released in just under two weeks, which is sort of crazy. Um, entire oceans to dust. So one of the, the time itself is not big PS releases coming out soon is uh, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, which is an epilogue to the future trilogy, uh, which includes uh, Tools of Destruction, Quest for Booty, and A Crack in Time. So as you can see here, this is the third game in that trilogy, uh, and leads right into into the Nexus. And uh, as you might uh, know, well, I saw it earlier. Um, is that the game? While it's installing, uh, plays a little movie where Quark sort of recaps what's gone on, what's gone on before, from Tools of Destruction and. I don't know if there's anything about Quest for Booty. There's not really much of a story in that. So let me check on some settings real quick. Yep. Uh, 16 hours into this game. Yep. So we're going to start a new game. Oh, there's some community stuff. Leaderboards. Uh, you can customize... Your ratchet. I forget what my profiles. Okay, it's for all your collectibles and all that stuff. Yeah, so did all that stuff. So we're gonna start up a fresh new game. Let's try it on hard. I really like the art style for this animated stuff. You'll see a bit of it coming up. There we go. Yep, new game. And there's definitely a new game plus for the series. Um, it was really interesting going into the HD collection after playing the future games and sort of have i ever told okay, you about my this. son <laughs> remarkable boy quite smart but he was born in a robot factory in the solana galaxy but to be precise he was created much farther away my son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. Board scan. All right, let's see. Favorite colors green, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. New safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. You're so this. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, or this chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> <laughs> A 
Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned the equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Okay, so there's the opening of A Crack in Time. Where are you going, Clank? As you will tell, Clank has been uh, captured by his, uh, by the Zoni. Those three weird little robot dudes that you saw earlier. Um, and sort of all under the guise of Dr. Nefarious, who wants to find the Orvis chamber, which we don't know much about right now. Uh, and so he's in this mysterious, uh, uh, in the middle of the galaxy, I think. Uh, it's part of the Great Clock. Got some enemies shooting at us. And all the collective bolts. Sir, sir, over here! Listen carefully. I'm your only hope. Are you sure you want to the now right there is Nolan North. We do not know that. So what's particularly cool about this is you spend most of the game separated. Good. You're safe for now. Where am I? What is Dr. Nefarious doing here? I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response processes. Mm. Try looking at the ocular scanner on your left. Good. Okay, now look at the one on the right. Got it. All right, look at the scanner above you. Good. Now, there's one more beneath you. Got it! You're recalibrated. Now, keep moving. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, what's really cool is that they have them separated, so uh, they change a bit of how Ratchet works, how his controls work. Uh, and Clank here, his levels are all basically puzzle platform levels. Warning. Warning. Unauthorized sonic device in sector 1. And, uh, Repeat unauthorized really cool use of... Sort of scepter, time scepter he has. I forget what it's specifically called. Uh, but it lets him sort of create multiple. So, yeah, these puzzles generally involve time control, creating multiples of yourself to solve puzzles. Um, some really cool stuff. And now they're sort of introducing us to planks. I'm your shivering with fear. Hurry up, sir. Use your helipack. He doesn't. Okay, yeah, I've got triple boost. One, two, three. I guess four jumps, basically. They're on their way, sir. You have to move. So, yeah. He, Clank's controls really aren't all that dissimilar to what um, how you play with Ratchet, so it's 
from all that you're playing with the smaller character. Breach detected in Sector 6. Dispatching time cleaners. These guys, punch, punch. You guys are not going to get through. Yeah, sure they are. Can you just hold L1 to go in this sort of third person mode? I think I remember what. Yeah, you're supposed to just completely go across. Not stop on that thing. Maybe not. So that guy is, I believe, the keeper of the room. This game still looks really good, as you've seen the cutscenes. Did a fantastic job with that. Doctor Nefarious, I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brain of Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zomi in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. And so their old nemesis, Dr. Nefarious, has resurfaced. And is trying to figure out the secrets of the Great Clock. Here's our late title card. Uh, 
And I think we're going to be going to Ratchet and see what he's doing. Space. It's huge. So huge, in fact, that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to a basic maneuver. Stranded on a plane. Hang on. I know. So much for clean underwear. Does a good job with the humor. Who the heck are we? Beats me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. So yeah, here is the first level. Going to check things out a little bit. So yeah, as you might recall here. Uh, from the clank section, so these little things that cause time to stop sort of help save them. And one of the things, uh, if you know, sort of the very much the OCD nature of the series, encouraging you to try to break everything from our bolts. Here now, every time you walk into plants, some of them will pop out bolts. So now you got a reason to just keep walking through grass, much like, uh, like you're in a Pokemon game. Trying to grind out some battles. Uh, yeah, so... Here's where the ship crashed. In case a fire does hurt you. With no clank, there's no copter. There's a third person mode. He just looks gorgeous. You just walk through these, you get some bolts. Boxes, boxes. Yeah, much like you expect, there are crates, uh, leveling up system. Let me see. That's the map. Here we go. Um, right now we got the Omni Wrench, the Swing Shot, the Constructo Pistol. One of the cool things they do. So there's customizable elements to this. So you collect them, buy them, whatever. Uh, they'll give you different uh, 
bonuses to the guns. Sometimes they're just paint skins. Pacifier. Two more. Can't use yet. Uh, what else do we have here? There's the mission. Ratchet! Nature is attacking! Okay, yeah. Triggers do your strafing. Just sort of a classic element of the series. It was really interesting playing the original Ratchet and Clank games is that you see like the first game does not have uh, the strafing or anything like that. Uh, you're... So the controls are a little weird in the very first game. Um, it's still a good game I would say but it definitely has its rough spots because it's the first game. They're sort of still figuring out what to do there. Uh, that game also does not have any level uh, mechanics. Omni wrench you can throw around. Yeah. Go over here and bring up the bridge so yeah. Pork can get over. Yeah. See, he's not as nimble as. Pull that all up. What's the plan, anyway? Well, where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. Might as well bolt up there. I'm not sure how to get it. Is at this point. Come back later. Take that, culture. Whoa, Quark. Are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. Yeah, so we see more of these uh, time beams. <laughs> Rumble, you stupid door! I'll find another way around. You gonna be alright with those things on the loose? Please. I can handle a few tiny creatures. I miss some uh, crates over here. Go this way. You see the size of those things? They were horrible. Come on, maybe there's a hotel. Yeah, I don't have any ammo for this thing. What? My arch nemesis. Concerned for his compatriot's well-being, Captain Quark's noble sidekick ninja leaps from stone to stone. Follow him, six deadly inches of crystal blue water. And yeah, it was really interesting playing the original Ratchet and Clank, which I played uh, back in the day. Got all the way to the end, the final boss fight. It was just so frustrated with it. Okay, now we can shop. Destructo bomb. What's awesome is every time you buy a weapon, you get one of these little cool. Is a different weapon for every occasion? Then try Drummond's new constructo line and take charge of your arsenal. 
Each weapon can be modified with any constructor approved upgrade. Rate of fire, ammo type, specialty triggers. If you can dream it, Constructo can deliver it. Very much gives me a rain stimpy sort of vibe to it. Bomb glove, Constructo pistol, and Constructo shotgun. <laughs> So yeah, it starts to introduce you to, oh, Mr. Zircon, the single best weapon in the entire series, which I believe is going to be returned for uh, Into the Nexus. So that's great news right there. Um, With his enemies vanquished, Captain Quark steals into the jungle, blaster at the ready, prepared to deliver swift justice to those who cross his path. Uh, Have to do it a little bit. Here we got our circle. This door is a jaw. Oh. So you can play like this if you want, or it's a little bit better just to straight, which was you know added in uh, going command of the second game. Uh, as long as along with the leveling mechanic, which became oh, help, help, please, please help me, my children, they're in danger. What seems to be the problem, citizen? Siphoid. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got okay, now we got a little mini-map here. Thinking. I'll just stay here and hold the fort. Oh, he is over there in that ledge. Save him! Please! Watch out, Mr. They're coming to get you! Bolts coming out everywhere. Get the kid. Wow! Thanks, mister! Mom's over there. And yeah, even then, the loving mechanic in going commando. Oh, Praise For each weapon, you kept using it until you unlocked. I think it was two levels. We came up this way. That's wrong. Way. Yeah, you can walk through this grass and get some more bolts. Uh, let's see, got that kid. Okay, I went off in this direction. Take out this generator. Oh, it's already leveled up. Congratulations! Your weapon is upgraded! Weapons upgrade automatically and they are you! It just gives you a bit more accuracy control of your shots, but you also lose your, lose your maneuverability. Save that kid. Are you a real bomb bag? I think my mom's over here. Yeah, well. Tough kid. Boom, got these big crates now that give you ammo and items. Uh, ammo, bolts, all that stuff. Of course, gold bolt right there. That's sort of the big collectible in the game. Uh, yeah, there's life in the big crates as well. Um, over here in extras, it should tell us. You got skill points, which sort of the achievement system built into the games. Uh, they got cheats, concept art that you can buy with your stuff, and you can buy different skins with your gold bolts. Look, here's Dr. Nefarious, Alistair, Dan Johnson, which I believe is a. Is the developer or person that they. Put in every game. Gorian Warrior, Mustachio Furioso. Uh, ammo. 
send this kid over to his mom. Beat up on. Come, Brax! You're my hero! I still haven't found Kalo. This kid has gotten himself into some big trouble. Looks like there's an item over there for us. Mom! Dad! Somebody! Just stay on this. Item is that mod? There we go. We can mod our weapons now. We got different chamber, supercharged proton. So we'll see how that looks. A constructo mod. It can be used to modify your constructo. So now it's more of a blast instead of a bullet. Here. And so now you can see sort of what the this time stuff is gonna do to the gameplay. Really give it a, sort of a nice little feel to it. I wanna go home now. Of course you're gonna use your wrench to screw bolts to create bridges and all that sort of stuff. My mom's this way, kitty. I do not like the look of these children. Oh, thank you so much. Happy to be of service, ma'am. The Cyphoids will be back soon. Come! We have to get into the village. So, what are these things? Mutated viruses from the Corthos sector. We haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the Zoni. Alpheus, open the door! Vanessa! Mm -hmm. What are you doing out here? The Xyphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the timekeeper. Not in front of the outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. And so while Boing Commando had just two levels for the weapons... One of the elders spotted Lord Vorsalon's warship over the falls. Lord I believe uh, this game, Over Destruction, has ten. I'm not sure what. Wait, move out of the way. Is it awesome in here, or is it just me? Switch over to a constructor bomb. There we go. For a sidekick. Yeah, so Fort keeps saying you're his sidekick. You know, it's obviously going to be the other way around. Not much to destroy here. But enough grass to go around in. This is a sort of a spot where you can just grind out some levels if you really want to. Let's see, we got the bullets. These woods are no longer safe. Come, we can offer you a sanctuary within these walls. Quick those bolts. Spend some more money later on. And I definitely remember this slope. 
Yep. Just blow up. I saw your starship crash on the other side of the ridge. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. Well, the ship's trashed. There's no way we'll be able to repair it. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain everything. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're all crazy now. They're hive minds. They can't function on their own. An outsider's here. <laughs> Hello, Hi, neighbor. What an unusual. So I get a little chance yes. to explore. Out of the ordinary happening here. Not really a ton to do here. Break some more stuff. Guys playing the same music. Obsess about the uh, tools of destruction In memory of John from earlier, early this generation. Right, 2007 the came out the year after yeah. PS3 like launched. Sort of hero. This. They'll be moving off the battlefield when you use this puppy on them. All right, Chief. What can we do you for? The Sonic Eruptor, this genetically mutated Xenago, is the perfect weapon for crowd control of a destructive nature. Firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call. Grab and kick! Try squeezing the trigger when the Xenago swarms him! We already got full ammo. The Sonic Eruptor, Still want Mr. Zircon. And so yeah, now you got this guy. You want to unleash him when he gets right, that, so it's nice and full. Otherwise, it's just like that. That, there we go. See, I don't want to waste his ammo. Now we got some more crates over here. See, so yeah, I definitely when I was playing this for review back in the day, I had to go through every single, not every single plant, but as many of the planets as I could. Kind of weird that those uh, carts do not break. Yeah, there's some side stuff. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Snoop around, Chief. Here. Another gold bolt. I'm not sure how we get back up. Okay, that's how. Your starship is not beyond repair. Well, but hmm. fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Well. Then I am afraid you will be here for quite some time. I guess they let the you. Fungoids abhor technology, so there are no Say ships no. for you here. <laughs> you may return when you have learned the error of your go. ways. Now. Back so soon? Have you learned to keep a secret? The Zoni are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything now. But they are also hive minds, and must be kept together for their energy All to right. work. 
Inside is a vessel which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni. Oh, yeah, that staff. Unlock some of stuff. Follow me and Temple don't of Zon. touch anything. We'll have to seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? Uh, I'm rich. We have a lovely miniature golf course. Oops, Star Trek reference. Quark, link into my nav unit. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. Yep, hard puzzle to solve right there. All right. The key to surviving situations like this is to avoid phrases like... We got these fire... Quiet in here or everything's going uh, to be uh, all right. Column. Fire obstacle. Basically from Mario. Yeah. Yeah. I'm through. Let's hope this vessel is worth it. According to the chief, it's one of a kind. Brought to this dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fongoids. And he's sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Zoni now we got our Zoni is the most powerful resource in the Omniverse. Whoa! Quark! There are two Zoni in here. I need to go grab them like that. Poor lost little creatures. <laughs> See if you can grab one with your wrench and stuff it into the vessel. Now we have to go get them. Got it. Nice work, Ratchet. Operation Red Shirt is a success. Things are going a lot faster. Yeah. Okay, here's Oni. Good job. Two Zoni XP increase. And so yeah, as you're playing, you earn XP in general, and that gives you more. Uh, life up there. You survived? I mean, you survived! <laughs> I told you we'd do it! Well done! The vessel is yours! Oh, come! There Unfortunately, Zoni we put in the old armor. Things have gone nuts. Our guards discovered it wandering around the waterfront. It can help you repair your ship. Quick! Everyone inside the temple! Marcelon is coming! Alright, Quark. You ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. <laughs> Dr. Nefarious has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. You win again, technology! And it's time for some action. Oh, that's... Oh, I should probably use some of these bombs. Oh, I just wasted well, that's so useful for air and They're kidding! Napping the villagers! We have to stop them! We come to me. Afternoon! What's also cool about this is that the enemies sort of have destructible armor on them. Okay, so this guy. 
Right there is a big difference. Um, yeah, that will destroy, they'll break apart. These robots will sort of as you fight them. And along the way, like if you're hiding behind this cover, uh, and they take enough shots, it'll break apart. So there's some destructibility that keeps you from just hiding there for the entire time. How are you? You can definitely get away with doing it for a little while. Yeah, and we're playing on hearts, so it's gonna definitely be a little bit more chill. Let's go up here. I think I'll have better. I have a little bit better chance up here. Life. There we go. Some to break, some life, some ammo. Now, stay close. Go over this way. What am I doing on my. Okay, we got good on everything. This is a good point for this. Thing. Yep, we leveled up. So now we got 12 hit points instead of 10. Now since we're right here, we can just take out some of these guys. I think. Now that one's just dropping off, dudes. So they're just hanging out down here. They're not too, not too upset. Still pretty powerful for the basic grenade. Now it's a little bit more powerful. Because I think it took out a bunch of them. This guy. Over. Take him little pieces off of him. Man, I took him out right there. Go back to the save point. Yeah. Again. She has definitely a little bit tougher than it was before. Okay, we still got our health. That's good. Yeah, 
It's almost sort of a shotgun, essentially. And we have the big boy coming down. Maybe if we can shoot this guy down. It might not be possible with how much we got right now. And as he's shooting it, it takes down the cover a bit. So pretty soon we won't be able to have any cover. Bolts. Did a pretty good job defending the place. We're too late! Vorsalon is oh, we still got Quark and some of the others. In here! Quickly! Shred of oh, technology in the entire it's one way. I was always meaning to dismantle it, but now I'm glad I didn't. This teleporter will take you back to your ship. Well, follow me. Yeah, there's two pots that could have broken right there. And so there's the teleporter we saw before. Use this Zoni vessel to repair your starship. There's our new ship. <laughs> Not capable of interplanetary travel. Move Zoni to increase our ship. Uh, upgrade our ship, please. Oh, there's another path over here and a gold bolt. Forty gold bolts. Oh well, yeah, since we respawned in here, all these boxes are back. So you can get some more bolts while you're here. It's always a good time. fly into space, uh, enter these sectors and sort of take on enemies and all that sort of stuff. Now we're going to be flying into space. Come in! Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven, they're coming with... You can see there in the background the invisible wall. Animals! Okay, so right stick lets me... You to activate the nav beacon on your spins. Can you do that? Uh, it's good. not really now like a tight. 3D flight way. sim. It's all just one plane, but I can sit here and fire. What can I shoot at over here? Okay. We have both these asteroids and these green ones. Morning. Asteroid field detected. Proceed with caution. Those ones will shoot up a cloud of 
poison, I guess. And yeah, if you remember the other Ratchet and Clank games, some of them had some flight areas. Missiles. Try to figure out where my. Okay, that's all we got right now. Okay, then I see what I'm doing. Uh, I can put missiles on X. Yeah, so there's a planet I can I can't land on right now because we're in the middle of story stuff. I can switch this. I can switch with which one to put on the triggers. X and s X circle. No one. Yeah, here's some different places that you can actually land if you want. Right now. Right now we're supposed to take out some enemies here. Morning. Hostile ships detected. Point of origin appears to be the same as Captain Quark's nav beacon. Space. There's a radio station. Wait, there's a bunch of radio stations. Huh. So taking them out so we can land. And yeah, once you get past this initial stuff, you can fly around at will. And sort of go to different stations. There's a shop over there. Uh, there's some sort of nice round levels. Which people would say is a ripoff of Super Mario Galaxy, but it's not. Ratchet and Clank did that stuff before Super Mario Galaxy. It was in uh, the original game. Maybe the original two game. Cork! First ship. Where are they holding you? Oh, it's a big cell with some sort of containment field. I really liked how they put the like controls, the special water. controls on. All right, maintain radio silence. I'll contact on you the items inside. themselves. Got through gravity boots. That out. Yeah, I like that they got a weapon that is just. Breach detected in starboard airlock. It's just a burping creature. Okay, now that we got our. Gravity boots, we can just walk around here through these openings. And you can see how it breaks apart as you chip away at the armor. I am an engineer. I fix it up. I am an engineer. Yeah, he thinks his buddies... Red 
Still alive. It's not. We killed him. Oh. Let's see. It's all the destructive stuff up here. Up here. Oh, I walk right through your laser. Zooming right along here. Until we have extracted the location of the rebel Adam. Also, we will be serving prime diesel in the cafeteria. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Oh, oh yeah, these guys are coming. Oh. I didn't know they transformed. Enemy acknowledges the weapon you're using right there. Let's keep going with the Sonic Raptor. Ooh, here we come. Zircon. You got who's the best enemy in this game. Um, best weapon in this game. This baby here deals maximum damage. For a fair price, of course. Mr. Zircon is the perfect companion for spontaneous treks through hostile alien environments. Uh oh, looks like these guys are hungry for Lombax soup. Well, not to worry. Just deploy you, Mr. So he's basically a robotic buddy. Uh, who will... Mr. Zircon is looking to kill you. Okay, so got him with the with the That's a good weapon. Because his spikes are weird. Uh, basically, Zircon... ...taunts your enemies and talks lots of crap... ...at them, so... ...it was a lot of fun just to have out. As I will demonstrate... In a minute. Okay, Zircon. already out. Get 
back up. We got the bridges going. So of course they have to just let him do his job. Sometimes he repeats himself. Still pretty entertaining. They've had sort of robot enemies sort of like this. But really, you know, none, none of them talk. So almost there. Welcome to the crawl! Okay, there we go. Destroy the rebel. Going again. Yep, we leveled up again. Up to number fifteen. Definitely, yeah, so it feels a little slow right now. Uh, we'll get boots that will let us uh, sort of uh, um, boost around. Ooh. I'm still surprised we still see sort of these explosive crate boxes. So that's sort of a very old school. Uh, Crash Bandicoot thing. Here you can see it in the PS3 game. It's um, 13 years later. Got a new mod. I believe it's for s yeah, the Rhino 4 schematic. So yeah, like everything else, you collect those things. Mr. Zircon does not come in peace. Quark, give me a status update. This guy wants to lock me in business. He says he'll kill us if we don't give him Alistair Azimuth. Who is Alistair Azimuth? I don't know. Some rebel. Oh, good to go. All right. Well, find out what you can. If he's an enemy of Nefarious, he might be a friend to us. yet. So yeah, it's really just brilliance of the whole weapon leveling system. So it encourages you to use many of the weapons uh, try out new things. You're not a good place to stand. But Zircon might be a good thing to keep around. Whoa. 
lot of threat. Not in good shape. Be catastrophic too. Ah, crap. Hopefully, we don't have to go back to back to this room. Is there kind of? Over and I have a big enemy from over in second. Bad use of Zerker. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, so it's weird playing a ratchet point game and not uh, able to do the uh, sort of extended jump with Clank. So that helicopter jump gives you a long jump. But I believe you'll get suits for that stuff. So now we're essentially playing on the wall. Yeah, there's the floor. That's kind of obvious. Mr. Zircon does not come in peace. What for, please? Um, yep, there's a boss. There's that guy. Wow. Of course, you know you're about to face him. Was that? They give you. He's directly looking at us. I'm just looking away from us. Oh, no. 
Okay, everybody's talking all at once. Welcome to the Chromonet Weapon Shop. Someone help us! It's the Green One Sidekick! We're saved! I knew you'd come for us. It's good to see you, Ratchet. Now we need to find a way. Yeah, I guess we'll try that instead What's of sending name? a child into those Burn things. Yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, Mister, what about the verse abuse? If you pull it out, it might lower the field. <laughs> of course. Everyone, follow me. I'll get us out of here. Stay quiet. We don't want to set off the alarm. Alert, alert. Look at Zircon back here. Zircon is leveled up. Alright. It's worth it to look back in these ones. Even if there's nothing. over. Spawn. We did it! Everyone follow me! I'll get, get us out of here. Be quiet. We don't want to set off the alarm. Alert, alert. There is a car Finish this level and then call it quits. We did it! Everyone. 
Everyone follow me. I'll get us out of here. Stay quiet. Don't want to set off the alarm. Take his gun on, come on. Get the Fongoids to safety. Okay, anybody need to use the bathroom? I don't want to leave the loading bay and then hear one of you have to go. go. want to up these. The onboard computer says there's a manual switch somewhere in that room. Check the grab ramp. Find our own way out. Escape route. Easy in the world. Lower deck landing. I'm out of it. Easy in 30 seconds. Oh. 
There's the boss fight we're about to head to. Oop. We're in the door. Using the straight as invisible. Zircon, so that's good. He's gonna have to take him up. More bombs. There we go. We'll move on to the next section. To ship now. Oh, just getting our ship. I'll stay with the fungoids and find out what else they know about Azimuth. Work out. I was I was like hype, hopping on these uh, on the ship and just seeing sort of the physics react to your character standing up. But time to go. Back in space. We've ravaged his ship. He's gonna go fly away. Okay, so here's the galactic menu. Map, I mean, uh, it shows where we're at. In this sector and wants us to go over this sector. There are going to be a bunch of other sectors. Yep. Hmm. 
Now we can actually land on these little planetoids. Which usually just have enemies on them. Yep, just let Zircon take care of us here. Just want to go through, take them all out. Bring back Zircon. damage there. Take some more damage. There we go, some more. Get the gold bolt. Our ship. Yeah, we have a bunch of these things around here. Oh, what's this ship over here? Yeah. Yep, this is a smuggler. Well, if it isn't Polaris's favorite Lombax, now what is an upstanding citizen such as yourself doing way out here in no man's land? And if you don't know, the Rhino is the, uh, I believe it stands for, Rip You Another One. It's basically the sort of best, most powerful gun in the game. You need to collect the schematics that are hidden around in a variety of levels. Matter of fact, I am having a bit of trouble conducting business in this here sector on account of all nefarious ships. If you'd be so kind as to eliminate a few well, I don't remember what we did right there. For your services. We took that thing. Glad to hear it, partner. Watch your back now. We got another planet here. So we got a zoning for this one. And here we got more of a big planet. significance is of these pills. And see while we're playing this, like there's that ship we we're at, smuggler. Knock it, here we go. Mr. Zircon requires no nano tech to survive. Mr. Zircon lives on fear. We have to figure out how to get in. I just be on the other side. And the Zoni definitely sound like the uh, alien toys from Toy Story. Yep, that's all we do. Especially way the same week. We got our uh, Zircon escort. Uh, well, I think I was talking about when we get in the ship. Leave. Deep 
Deep Space Jams. Pirate Radio is one we want to take on. I'm fixing to I gotta take out all these ships. Ship asunder and rub you of all of your loot. Yeah, so this is pirate radio, it's sort of a news station. With uh Zephyr and Kronk, I believe, are the dudes on this station. Shots on this thing. So this is sort of the cool thing right here is so we're having this little open world that you can sort of explore. Uh, where is the yeah over here? Essentially a big uh, store. This one is a store that might be different sections that are different things. Well, but at least he's got some stuff to blow up. Let's head back to our ship. Alright, there's a store. Nothing new to buy, so we're good to go. Yeah, so they want us to go over here and take out these green asteroids. Welcome back, Chief. No, this isn't Kronk and Zephyr. Maybe it is, I don't know. In our run of lobber approved songs, this be Pirate Radio! Proceed with caution. My sensors indicate high levels of electromagnetic radiation ahead. Our shields are not strong enough to maintain optimal hull integrity. Let's do other stations here. Sin Inferno of romance and machismo. Oh, Janice! My desire to chop wood and race cars is overshadowed by a call. Please! Oh, uh, that's pretty much over here. But on the season finale of Lance and Janice, their romance will be tested unlike ever before. Oh, 
Something that will shock the universe. So yeah, that is Ratchet and Clank. Future a crack in time. Uh, it's out on just retail at this point. Uh, unfortunately, it's not on PSN, which is uh, a little bit of disappointment because I would like to have that and Tools of Destruction to play at any time. As I've sort of had uh, a little craving to play those games, especially with Into the Nexus coming out pretty soon. But Into the Nexus is out. It's on the 12th, November 12th, so the week of PS4's launch, you can get that, you can come over here to Smuggler, not Smuggler, Meaning you ran out of gas. It sounds smarter the way I see it. Yeah, new sector or not. Yeah, yeah. Can you send them my way? So that is, yeah, Ratchet and Clank Future, Crack and Time. Definitely a really good game to play. Uh, especially if you want to play uh, Into the Nexus. Uh, it's going to very much be sort of a similar uh, experience as this game. Uh, I'd be surprised if it has the uh, flight stuff. It's probably all the planet stuff is probably all going to be pretty similar. Uh, that game is going to be on PSN and PS3 for $29.99. Um, the way they've built it is it's bigger than uh, Quest for Booty, but it's smaller than Crack and Time. So this was a good sort of 10 15 hour game. So you can probably get through that in probably five to eight hours probably, I guess. We'll have to see when that actually comes out. So yeah, that was a Smash Pad Stream Ken for this week. Uh, next week is going to be what? Um, next week, still not a ton coming out. I'm going to say that we're going to do another of these sort of classic streams. I'm not exactly sure what on. Uh, it's next week. Um, i definitely be putting this on YouTube channels and archive a couple other a couple more of these shows to put up there. been neglecting doing that yeah so this game is really good really good still really good I uh, definitely recommend playing at least Tools of Destruction and this game before. But if you want to play Into the Nexus first, it's fine. The story's not all that integral to the games. It's just sort of a good aspect of them. Uh, oh yeah, the Into the Nexus includes Quest for Booty on the disc. Uh, code for it. Quest for Booty with the disc. So if you don't have that, or you want to get it and give it to a friend, uh, that's certainly the way to do it. Uh, thanks everybody for checking this out. You can follow us on Twitter. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at SmashPad. We're also at on YouTube and Twitch.tv, it's SmashPad as well. Uh, the website is SmashPad.com, as you might expect. And, uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out, and we'll see you guys again next time. And have a good weekend.